السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I welcome you all in our program, Common Misunderstanding about Islam. Today we present dialogue between secular and religious personalities. They both are Muslim, so they have opposite things. Introduce Mr. Abdullah, a practicing Muslim, and Mr. Kashif, an open-minded individual. And I am your host, Kamran. My first question is from Mr. Kashif. Why are you against religion? I am not against religion. I am against Malvis. They have made Islam difficult for us, and Allah has made it easy for us. Because of them, we did not progress in size. They have made everything haram. Now, I would like to ask you, Mr. Abdullah, do you agree with Mr. Kashif? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother Kamran, this word Malvi is a convenient word learned from non-believers. And whenever we want to say against Islam, we use this word. Others are baseless allegations terminologies learned from media. I want to ask Brother Kashif to tell us what does Malvi mean? What does he mean when he says Malvi has made Islam difficult and Allah has made it easy? Thank you. Yes, Mr. Kashif. Mm, those who have made, made life difficult for people, like uh, pants uh, pan should be above ankle, grow beard, etc., etc. Brother, it is not the saying of Malvi. It is said by Rasulullah that Ma asfala min al min al izari fin nar. Part of your izar below ankle will be in fire. And Malvi has not made life difficult. Allah says, This life is a test for hereafter. The tougher test will be, the greater will be the reward. Another place, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Trim closely the moustache and let the beard. Narrated Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anha in Muslim. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, This world is like a jail for mu'min and paradise for kafir. So how do you say Malvi has made his life difficult? Now, if he has anything to say regarding this point, I am willing to listen him. Now, my second question with Brother Kashif is how Malvi has hurdled your progress in science? They've made everything haram. Sir, I am sure Mr. Abdullah will ask for reason an example. Yes, yes, seeing pictures were haram, loudspeakers were haram, they've made haram, print, uh, they've made printing haram. Because of them, we are backward. A starting sentence is based on biasness. What do we mean by everything? Which medicine is declared haram? Which ride is called haram? Which equipment is called haram? I know our problem is watching TV and trusting on social media. And we have more trust on media than Quran and Sunnah. We have more faith in science than Quran and Sunnah. We are happy if science prove our deen right. Otherwise, we are in questions. Brother, let me give answer for your specific examples. Brother, you asked me why certain things were called haram. Listen it very carefully. Brother, whenever new things are invented that have no clear teaching in Quran and Sunnah, a scholar have to do ijtihad. And they do it with caution and try to avoid any doubt. It is very rational. Whenever you something that could be good or bad for you, you avoid till you get the complete knowledge. It explains you regarding loudspeaker and other relevant inventions. As far as printing goes, that is very much promoted in social media nowadays and has not mentioned the complete picture. It was recommended not to use it for Quran and Quran was not allowed to print due to the method of printing. And I challenge if I ask Brother Kashif to print Quran due in the same method now, he will refuse and will consider it as an insult to Quran. So it was not allowed to print Quran due to the method of printing. As soon as the new way of printing was invented, it was allowed. Secondly, Muslims were very good calligraphers. They preferred handwritten Quran over machine printing. If you say why they have not allowed loudspeaker in the first place and now they are allowed, I will say sentence has caused more harm to human. And many a times they have taken U-turn without a warning. Why they had been telling us the earth is flat, the round, and now they say it is oval. They made most people to believe that matter neither be created nor be destroyed. And now they say there is a beginning of this world and end one day. Before they used to say sun is a stationary and all things move around it. And now they say everything move on its own orbit and axis. They made most people most people die believing on this falsehood and refusing the existence of God due to these theories. Who is to blame? Malvi? When it comes to health, scientists used to say yolk was bad. The other time, white part. And now both parts are good for health. One time they used to say, one time they used to say running is good for health. Then brisk walking. 
then like walking with your own pace statins have been given different genre for blood pressure and sugar different times and i can go on but i would like to ask how much we listen to molvies they say offer pair five times a day how many people do offer they say do hijab how many ladies do hijab they say establish the law of allah why don't we do that they say do not do lewdness vulgarity why do we do that by the way it is not said by molvi it is said by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how many times this molvi has told us not to invent anything show me any fatwa in our lifetime stopping us to invent anything why didn't we invent anything we should not blame other for our own failure brother kashif reality is this we are not thinking someone else is doing thinking for us and we are just following them brother we are not successful because we do not have true iman allah says in surah ali imran verse 139 wala tahinu wala tahzanu wa antum al alaun in kuntum mu'minin so do not become weak against your enemy nor be sad and you are bound to rise high if you are a true believer our rise and fall is attached with iman as a matter of fact someone else has defined success for us and we have forgotten what allah and rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam defined success for us Brother Zubair will define success you define success to you in his speech listen it very carefully brother kashif i would advise you to read quran with understanding to know what to do and study the teachings of rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to know how to do it thank you mr abdullah yes mr kashif do you want to say anything now i think i should to read and learn quran from some authentic resources and teachers I thank you gentlemen and ladies for being here. This is the only program where we reach to some conclusion. And I also realize that I need to learn the Islam. I hope you all have realized it too. We will meet you next time with new common misunderstanding about Islam. Jazakallahu khairan wa ahsanal jazaa.